everybody, it's Micheline from Michelle Makes again and uh, I finally got the vlog put together for making the Shelly bra. The uh, pinup girl Shelly bra. I'll tell you more about it in the, in the video that I've done. But it's by Beverly Johnson and uh, as you know I made, a blue, I made myself a turquoise bra. I thought it was so good that I thought I would make another one and do a little sew along for you so you can find out just how easy or straightforward it is to make a bra because if you're anything like I was I thought oh golly I don't want to try making a bra it's too hard but I actually found it very easy um, just to put you in the picture again I am a member of a Facebook page called Braforia or Braforia and I emailed them and said I'm, I've never made a bra before and how easy is it to make one and this person came back and said it's very straightforward the best one to start with is this one and she suggested that I subscribe to the Craftsy video on making a bra where the lady Beverly Johnson who's not a young lady she's about probably a bit like me uh, she talks you through how she makes the bra she does it step by step and uh, there's also an area where you can quit you you can show her a picture of how we've how it's turned out and say look this has gone wrong how do I correct this and can you you know she give, she gives you um, very prompt answers to any problems that you may have for making the bra so yes, I mean, she is, I'm by no means a professional at it and uh, I just thought I'd let you see how a beginner has made a bra and how straightforward it is. I would class myself as an advanced sewer but I have to say that I think that someone who knows a little bit about sewing should be able to do it. Um, it's quite straightforward you own the basic stitches you need is a straight stitch a zigzag stitch a stretch zigzag stitch which is like a it, instead of going like that it goes dot dot you know it's not kind of goes dot 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 and another one that she recommends is a slight like a sloping zigzag but if I was looking at my Marks and Spencer's bra and where she suggests that, they actually use that zigzag stitch with, which is uh, a stretch one. So you could use that as well. Um, if you only had straight and zigzag on your machine, you probably could get away with it, but it may not be as good a, a strong, as strong as a, a, um, a stretch zigzag stitch. So um, no harm in trying, let's say. So anyway, I shall uh, let you get on. As I say, I'm not a professional, but I just thought you might like to see how the sew along goes. Um, and that's the pattern again. You'll see more about it in the thing. You will see lots of fingers, wrinkly old hand fingers, and twisted fing twisted uh, fingers there. That comes with the job that I used to have. I used, as I say, I used to do engraving, but it used to be hand engraving, and you had to hand. It's like a pantograph in the old version, and you ha held it like that, and um, it's caused my fingers to twist a bit, and it's caused me to have a little gnarly bit there. I don't know if you can see that little gnarled bit. Doesn't hurt, but uh, just bear in mind, ladies, that this is. Those of you who are doing this on your phones all the time, you may end up with gnarly thumbs as well when you get to my age. It all comes with constantly using the same joint for something. So bear that in mind. <laughs> That's probably because I also use my finger. I'm not a, a thumb person on the kit on my phone. I'm a finger person. And it could also be due to the finger to t uh, using my phone. So there you go. Anyway, we shall continue. This is my Shelley pattern instruction leaflet plus the uh, pattern which I got. Um, the Shelley number 3245 by Beverly Johnson and the Pinup Girls. Not sure who the Pinup Girls are. I know who Beverly Johnson is, but uh, it's basically this is the pat these are the pattern instructions. Either get a this one is a is a a, a purple colour, other ones are yellowish. Uh, but basically instructions are more or less the same but the pattern is the pattern surrounding is different beverly has a particular chart you measure the, what you do is you measure the top of your bust around here and you measure your full bust and the difference between your top of your bust and your full bust 
you uh, gives you the cup size now mine was 40 inch on my high bust and 45 on my full bust so apparently I'm a 40 bust and I'm a, the difference of that is 5 inches so I'm a cup E and she reckons that's a perfect way of measuring your bust because she says when you breathe in and out this goes in and out as well whereas the top of your chest doesn't so that's how she works out the measurement so that's a 40 E then as I say once you've got that you've measured you um, you just basically open it up and follow the instructions so let's go the pattern piece consists of a card sheet with in this case there are um, there are four measurements there are four patterns there's the E the F the G and the H so what you do is you pick your size so mine's an E size your E cup and you go for the size of your of your measurement so I'm a 40 E so I have to trace around the smaller size so if you were 42 E 44 46 48 E's so those are all E cups those are G cups H cups and so on so I've traced around all the E cup patterns and there are seven pieces one two three four five six and then there's a strap seven so I'll show you what I've got okay so we now have our seven pieces of pattern and uh, we start with the strap which is one then you've got the front band which is two and that is that's the on a fold when you come to cutting it and that's going to be the back of your bra part this is going to be your cup area and that's going to be the centre front that's going to be where the bow goes on the front of your bra then you have an upper cup you have a power bar you have a back band you've got a middle lower cup a front lower cup so basically the way this works, if I take these away and move them sideways, you have your back band and your back band is fastened to your, to your front band there, so that's going to be where it fastens. Your elastic is going to go at the back of your bra and that's going to go round and you will then have a power bar that goes here and your bra strap is going to eventually go here that's going to be a bra strap that's going to go round to the elastic there then here in your bust you've got a middle cup now, this all ha this all fits into here middle cup a lower cup and then a top cup and basically by fitting these in if you look at here your C joins to C there your B joins to your B there and that's going to fit into that curve and then along here your top part is going to fit round here there isn't a mark here but that should say a letter A I think I've missed off writing an A there So here this and this top part which would be a lace part if you do lace or just ordinary fabric if you do the otherwise that will those will all come together there and join there and then this will sew round like that today now if it, you look a bit confused there I'll take these patterns away and I'll show you what it looks like on the fabric okay so this is a, a sample piece of fat fabric that I've done so basically this bit is your front panel which is that I'll see if I can put that kind of on there for you to see and then you have your back band which is going to join there which I haven't put on there then you have your front lower cup which is going to go there and that sews if you see that goes up there to the to the point A there so that's going to join there and then you have your middle lower cup which is going to go there 
it's going to join at that point B to the B and that's going to go there so you've got a three A's coming together and then you have let's see if I can focus it better there the power bar which is that one which is going to go in the side there and that's the strap part that the part there is the strap and then the very top part here is your where your, your upper cup goes and that's holding the lace there so if I, I'll pull this away and let you see I'll whiz around slowly to let you see what it's like front panel front box front brand front little front band one two and a side part and then the top part so then I'll take you to the bra that I made to let you see what that's like okay so I've flattened this out to let you see you've got you've got your side panel then you've got your front bit that goes around there the front panel that's where the fold was and that's where your bow will go then you've got your power bar at the side there which connects to the strap there if you see that's where the joint is across the strap then you've got the middle panel and then the side panel and then you've got the top part which takes the lace there this pattern that I've got here is actually not the one the original one that I did and after I'd made the bra uh, after you've made the bra there she uh, Beverly to make tells you to make suggestions yourself of where you could adjust it well the one thing that I found was this was far too long this strap here was too long and so what I had to do was I actually had to cut a little piece of this and fold it over a bit more and I had to shorten this elastic you can see it's right down there so I really don't need as much elastic as that and I could do with making that strap a bit shorter so what I did on my original pattern there this is my original strap pattern and I've actually put a mark there to say that's how short I should make it now I haven't done that yet on the other pattern that I've cut on this one this is a, a this is a drafting tissue paper which is a bit stronger but I shall cut that further now I'll make that a bit shorter because there's going to be too much fabric there and the other thing I noticed was there is a slight a very slight amount of um, of loose fabric there it's it's hardly noticeable when it's when I'm wearing it but uh, basically what she said was if you see anything that you need to take in then do it on your pattern so I'm just going to take in a fraction on my on my side panel and a fraction on my where is it a real fraction on my center panel my front band just take it in at the top there so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take that in a fraction and take that in a fraction so there's not as much movement there I really don't recall it being that bad but I, I must have uh, at the time I must have thought that I needed to take a little bit off so on my new pattern I will trim off these pieces here and I'll shorten the strap on the pattern pieces they all have arrows on uh, on the strap and so on and they on the uh, above them on a couple of them she has the words direction of greatest stretch and she calls that the dogs she's got dogs on this strap one and basically the fabric that you use any stretch on it has to have the stretchiest part has to be in that direction or the direction wherever the arrows are now when you first start the bra making you use two fabrics one of them is a very shiny one which is uh, shiny on one side and dull on the other and it's ridged and that one has very little stretch in it at all There's, it doesn't stretch at all hardly but the, I think it stretches more let me just see that doesn't, doesn't stretch at all that way but it does stretch a fraction that way so you would make sure that you, that your direction of the greatest stretch is where your arrows go. That is the part that's going to form your bodice, your, your uh, bra cups. 
so there isn't much stretch in that and the reason why you don't have much stretch in your bra cups is because you don't want your boobs to to sag downwards so you want something that's really well contained something that doesn't stretch much so later on once you've tried your first attempt and you start using lycra and um, other fabrics you you want a firm fabric that's going to hold your boobs in properly then on the pa the back band which is that one you have this stuff which is very stretchy one way and that's the one I was showing you if you look at it you can see the little holes in it it's stretchier that way it's stretchier that way than it is this way I can't stretch it very much that way but I can stretch it quite a lot that way so that that is the one when you come to doing this that your panel will go that way because you want it to be the, the stretchiest in that direction so because you don't want too much stretch on your material the top one the upper cup can be lace but because your lace sometimes can be stretchy lace well that you put the stay tape along the top just to stop the the lace from stretching out and making your boobs spill out the top so the whole point of the stay tape is to hold the hold the shape of the lace in place. Right, well I've got two two packets of um, fabric, one both from the uh, the fit to sew dot co dot uk. One is a bra making kit, complete with duplex power net findings kit, and the other one is a bra making trio with duonet, duoplex, power net and lace so I think basically I bought this one first and then I realised that I needed the findings and for some reason I must have bought the whole lot here I must have thought right well I might make a few pink bras so I, I bought the whole lot here so what I'm going to do is open this out to let you see what exactly is in so there's the findings, this is the findings, I'll just put stop this uh, camera and set it up so we can see what would, what it's in. Right, well this is the bra making kit, the first one that's got duoplex, power net and findings in it. Um, that's the duoplex, that's the power net, the stretchy fabric, that's the power net and these are all the findings. And the findings include a back fastener which has hooks and eyes on it a set of three hooks and a choice of positions for the eyes it opens on either sh either side there and that's where you're going to fit the side of your straps into just to let you see what I mean that this is the blue one that part there fastens over the the fabric of the bra there and you stitch down and the same on the other side that's the one the part that fastens on the side and you stitch down I didn't do a very good job straight stitching there but um, for a first time I suppose it can't be too bad then you have your front bow your two rings that are going to hold your, your elastic straps on your shoulders the sliders for your straps for your shoulders this is your elastic that you get for to go through that uh, this time they've given me the right size it's just a little bit on the tight side but that will stop it from sliding up and down unnecessarily so that's your two two sliders and your elastic fabric uh, elastic straps then you have this lace that goes along the top of the bra once you get to be a better bra maker then you can start choosing your own lace but I, I thought that was quite nice that will go along the top of the bra then you have two elastics one of them is a narrow one and the other one is a wider one now on this bra the um, the wider elastic went along the bottom of the bra along there and the narrow elastic went round the arms from under the, it went from under the arm and round there and up to the it basically covers your armpits and round the top of your strap so that's what those two elastics are for and the last one is this which is actually like a tube of channeling it actually forms a little tube 
it's not easy to open up but it forms a little tube now this is what I used to, as a stay tape across the top of the bra and it was a little bit too much on the thick side I couldn't fathom out what that was and then I realized what it became this actually is the tubing that your that tubing there that you saw in that takes your underwire and so that that will be the one that goes around there like that and takes your underwire if you're going to use them now but um, so those are all the findings that you need there now this is the same packet I'll put those on there so I don't lose them this was the same fabric but this time I got some lace with it but it didn't give you findings I didn't buy findings with mine now you've got your lace they give you quite a bit of lace that I, I actually only used a fraction of this lace um, you, get, you get quite a lot it's um, well I think it's about a meter of lace that you get and what what you actually use it and in in this first bra you only use about that much of it and one bit is the top of one and top of the other so there I've only used a fraction of the lace on that I suppose that once if you get once you get good at it then you could actually make certain parts of the the rest of the body of the bra into lace and what you would probably do there is because this lace is kind of stretchy and would probably give too much on your bra is you might cover it up with duoplex to give it add a bit more strength to it to, to give it that firmness when you're making the bra so that would be in ne the next stage after making a basic bra you could probably try it with a with a piece of bra a piece of lace over the top i think that would be quite nice so i haven't decided i might actually make a top cup with that on like that i think it might quite look quite nice anyway this one is the same as that i've got double the amount of this duoplex and i've got double the amount of the power net as you see it's not exactly very matching but i think that's the closest color you can get um, this turquoise is a fraction better the the um, duoplex is uh, a little bit paler than the than the power net um, it's not I've, I've tried looking around to see where you can buy this from if it's possible to buy it myself by the meter but the only place I can find is somewhere in Australia that does it by the meter but they don't all I'm not sure if they do a lot of bright colors if they tend to do beiges and whites and blacks and nothing much but nothing much else in colors so you're basically restricted to buying from these bra suppliers heaven knows where they get them from but they do have some really nice choices if you can look around and find nicer laces or, or different laces you could vary your bras and have it vary the, the um the style of the bra by using different laces all the time I suppose if I wanted to I could have covered I could do some with a turquoise lace that I've got say covering it with that lace what would it look like with that over there it's not you could have say a contrast of turquoise with pink if you wanted to so now I'm going to I'm going to put uh, this, I'll keep the lace, I'm going to put this fabric to one side because I don't really need it, I've got everything I need there and I'm going to start cutting out the pattern. Okay, so these are the pieces that I've put on for the, um, let's see if I can get that a bit better there, uh, these are the, the parts that are going to be on the duoplex, the front band, the power bar, the middle lower cup, the front lower cup and the strap if you wanted to do a utilitarian bra without a lace then you would use this one as well which is the upper cup you would cut you would add that to that there and have yourself to cut there now I've decided I'm going to do a lace one because I said I would show you the one with the lace um, so I'm not doing that that won't go on there that would be cut with lace um, the um, thing that I, you may think I'm being a bit frugal having it all in that area but this comes from taking a, a fashion design course where the lecturers used to constantly tell us not to waste the fabric even though we bought the fabric ourselves they used to say why are you why are you giving it so much space between it what you could you know why not put it all together so you're as close as possible so it leaves you with more fabric and actually what they're saying is right because I out of that piece I have almost uh, a little bit over half left and a strip down the side 
a pair of pants underwear pants knickers or I could use it to make another bra so that's why I pin very close together now the thing that Beverly points out in when you're cutting is she, you have to you've gone to the bother of measuring your your, bra, your bust and got your measurements exactly right so you do not cut big wide edges around the pattern you've got to get it as close as possible to the pattern she recommends using one of these very very fine roller cutters um, or to make sure you have very sharp scissors and you cut very close to the edge uh, I tried that I prefer the scissors because I find that I've got more control with a pair of scissors um, and the other thing that she says is you do not need if, if you do it properly there should be no tacking involved there should be no no tacking and no pinning once you've got these pattern pieces you do it all by uh, your eyesight and by the feel and the stretch so uh, and I, I, I managed to make the bra without having to pin anything together so it should work it's um, it, you know it, once you've got this pattern cut out all nicely in straight edges all the way around no chunky bits then it should work well so I'm going to cut it now with my scissors And so we've got those cut. The next thing is to cut the pat the back band, which is the power net. Now the power net, they don't give you as much of it. That's as much as you get. It is not very much. You can see, it's actually uh, probably about hardly less than 12 inches square. So, if you've got a small bust, you might get away with two lots. If you haven't got a small bust, then you're going to end up with some not much to play with but what you could make is a pair of pants with what's left these whatever you use here could be a side panel you could have two two narrow side panels going down the side of your pants and the duoplex uh, I'll, that one and that one could be the front panel of your knickers so you've got a front firm panel and you've got this side duoplex side panel that's going to hold your hips so perhaps that might be another thing that I could do show you how to make some some knickers out of them so this one I just need I need to cut two and it's got to go in the direction of the grain so what you've got to do is you've got to have the little rectangles when they, when you stretch them I don't know if you can see there when you stretch them they've got to be going they've got to be going narrow and thinner that way so what that is going to be the direction there and that's the direction there so I need to cut two of these so I'll put this on a fold like so and that's going to go on there as I say there's not going to be there's just going to be that panel and a little bit at the top there that I could use um, see if I can pull it down a bit more a fraction more right so that goes like that and we pin this on so that's that one done then you have your lace part now your lace pattern part is this and um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way so I'm cutting it towards the end here and I'm lining up the tops of the scallops of the lace and so that they're exactly the same on one to the, to the other and that one's slightly lower right so they are exactly matching there because you don't want one 
scallop to be to be on wrong, you know, totally wrong on the other. And then it says place the low points of lace along the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get it because of the the length of it. I'm going to try and get it so I get one, two, nearly three scoops in it. So obviously there's going to be a bit of wastage there, but that's you know I'd rather do that and then I've got exactly the right size. So pin that on. Make sure it goes. I need to go a bit higher up, I think, there, like that. So then we cut that, and I'm going to turn it around again. I find it easier to cut it like this from this side. 